Howdy guys and gals, I'm Kyle Broderick. Welcome to The Social Regressive. We're continuing to work up our varmint rifle into a long-range precision rifle. This is a Savage 12 FV that we're going to be taking out at a mile eventually, and we want to keep the whole build somewhere around a thousand bucks. I think the initial build that we're going to have here is going to come in less than that, and we're going to play around with some different parts, different scopes to get up above that, and you guys can kind of figure out what sort of build you actually want to do. But what we have to do before we really take any of the further steps with mounting scopes, etc., we need to figure out some dimensions. And the primary dimension that we need to figure out first is going to be length of pull. Uh, length of pull is going to kind of set everything. When I drop down with this rifle on the ground, I want it to be perfectly squared away so that when I get my face neatly behind the rifle scope, I'm just looking straight through it. I don't have to be moving my head around in order to see through the scope or anything like that. If I get all of my dimensions squared away at the very beginning, I will just... I'll be able to just, yeah, drop behind the rifle and everything will be ready to go. So yeah, length of pull is very tricky to figure out and very complicated. I'm gonna show you right here how it's done. You take your rifle, hold it up with your elbow at roughly the same height as your shoulder. You want this to be a 90 degree angle right here. And you get your trigger finger exactly where you want it so that it feels nice and comfortable get that kind of middle of the pad right on the trigger get your hand on the grip and then this butt pad should be resting right on the meat of your bicep right there that's it if it's too short make it longer if it's too long make it shorter if you don't have an adjustable a rifle stock like this one you can put in some pads if some little spacers if you need to be able to get a little bit more distance maybe you can get a thicker butt pad that sort of thing there are a few things that you can do to extend your length of pull but if you have a nice adjustable one like this Boyd's at one which I think has uh, an extension you can go from I think like 13 inches out to 14 and a half or so uh, 14 and a half is my perfect length of pull and of course it has the adjustable cheek piece um, but yeah, if you get all that squared away, there you go. There's the, the really difficult length of pull determination. Once we have that, we can move on to the next steps, mounting the scope, getting proper eye relief, and just getting the rest of the rifle all squared away. Thanks a bunch, you guys. Make sure that you subscribe, like, hit the notification bell. We have a lot of videos coming out in this series where we are turning this 12FV into something that is very capable and a whole bunch of different challenges, challenges that we will indeed shoot. Thanks a lot, you guys. I'll see you around. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Even if you didn't like this particular content, go ahead and subscribe. There's probably something coming that's more up your alley. Check out this playlist right here. This is going to have videos in a similar vein to what you just watched. These two videos we cherry picked for you. And finally, The Social Regressive is on Patreon. So, you can become a patron of the destructive arts and earn some goodies while helping us to provide high-quality videos just by kicking us a few bucks a month. Thanks a bunch for your patronage.